Great. So the string, um, let's say for data visualization specialist, understanding string is uh, actually really, really important. Think about the data. So most of the data is actually string. Even if you import some CSV file, which has a number, that one's actually string. This is string, it's a character, it's not a number. So we need to cast anyhow. So what I'm saying is that we have, in case that we have some data, data is most of the data is uh, it's like um, um, the text data. So we're gonna take a look at how Python, you know, cook the text data, okay? Um, yeah, then enter, same as before, yeah, like this. And then um, here's uh, the interesting concept. Yeah, maybe it's become confused for you guys, but bear with me. So we have a variable which contain hello world, right? Yeah, but at the same time, this is actually list or array. So meaning that we can decompose individual character in that string, right? So for example, if I, if I um, execute it, so what is the index zero? So we have a, a square bracket, yeah, to index. So here, zero, every computer language is starting from zero, okay? Some people is confused, but yeah. So in order to print H in that hello world string, you need to use the zero index. That's why you're able to play H, right? And then the three means zero, one, two, three, this is L, right? That's why you print the L, right? And then what is this, the minus one? Yeah, this is a bit weird things. Actually, this is only for Python, yeah. So minus one means that we can index in reversely, right? So meaning that um, it print D, right? What happened if I press two? Yeah, you're gonna print L, right? It makes sense, right? So maybe this is good for us to, you know, we have no idea how long the string, for example, and then we can just reversely index them. This is also really good. That's why a lot of people who are not computer science wants to use the Python as their primary language. So anyhow, so this is the way we index the string as a, uh, um, we can actually consider the string as a list to all right things. So, oh, we learned the print function, right, previously. And also we have uh, the length, uh, the type, type here, right, type. So, so we, we know uh, we are facing new keyword, designate keyword, we cannot use it, the length. Length means that they return the length of the list. Okay, so for example, um, I'm going to make a quick, uh, the, 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 the a, a array for example, let's say my array, one, two, three, yeah, and then print. Print for what? Length. My A. Yeah. So it 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 gives us like a one, two, three, the, the length of the, the array, right? So what happened if I put this one? Yeah. We have an eleven character. Okay. Can you follow me? Great. And then one thing, focus please. One thing, uh, beginner um, make a lot of mistakes. Hello, can I go or now? Okay, I can go. So one thing the, the, the beginner usually um, um, confused about the number is that, as I said, for the index wise, we always starting zero, right? But if you put the, uh, if you ask the length, they actually count the first one is a number one, yeah? So my question is that, for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna print the last index in the string, right? So in this case, we're gonna print a D, right? And then in order to use the length, for example, length, the text. <laughs> and then it breaks because the number is different. So, you, as you, so if you use the length, you, we always need to minus one. Always, yeah. 
So this is the, just one thing you, you guys get familiar with at the end of the day. So anyhow, we also know, uh, learn the, what is the length, okay? Great. And then we have um, a lot of uh, the string, the function for string. So actually you can like, um, you know, Python string, there's a documentation here. There's a, a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, the, let's say, um, designated features or functions that developer developing. So whenever you, whenever you use, or want to use it, that we have no idea, always Google it. Even for me, even as a software engineer, we couldn't remember everything. We always the, the look at the documentation or Google it or go to the um, Stack Overflow and things like that. So, I mean, the search ability is sometimes is really important, you know, use uh, the, the skill or ability as a visualization specialist. Anyhow, so, so we have uh, this kind of a uh, lower and upper sort of uh, inbuilt function, let's say. And then also I'm gonna give you one more sort of trick, okay? Let's say, I don't know, the uh, Google code either server to or not, but if I'm just, I'm trying to press start here and then press tab, okay, Never mind. Well, it, uh, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that some uh, IDE, ID means the integrated development environment. It's like a Microsoft Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text or C++ and uh, Note++ and um, Jupyter Notebook that you guys are already familiar with, I guess. If you put the dot and then shift the tab and then it gives us all possible result. I mean, the, the function that we can take advantage of. So anyhow, so this is the string using the dot method we can execute, yeah? We can execute the function that belongs to string, yeah? So even if I have uh, the hello digital world, uh, future world is with the lowercase, uppercase, then, but it just uh, uh, force all the character become lowercase, all the uppercase. Think about the data, right? So, you know, um, I'm gonna, I wanna compare two different data uh, maybe who living in this building, right? So for example. So some people uh, use their first letter of the uppercase, but some people use just, uh, just uh, use the low case because they think about this is not important paper, for example. But in this case, we always force, force the string become lower, uh, the low case or uppercase and then compare that. You guys can, I, can see my point? Yeah, because sometimes it's a text is like, a, uh, actually the computer, cannot recognize the difference. Uh, uh, this is actually different. It, this is a force. Yeah, let's say let can do this. This is actually better execution. Uh, corporation. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we, we're gonna reach that point, that point later, anyhow. So for the, um, um, in order to compare two different st strings, we sometimes we need to take advantage of this function to convert, you know, the, the string type. Because I'm confused, like different types with C sharp and Python and other language things. Um, yeah. This is the, how we print the multiple text in one print um, the function. So we simply can use the plus button. Otherwise, we can actually do like this, the, the comma, right? One, let's say, A comma B. Also, you can use this one, like this, yeah because there's some space. I mean, this is a very minor thing. So you guys, uh, if you guys have time to take a look at the, um, let's say, um, think of Python PDF file. So there's a very in-depth thing. So yeah, I can highly recommend you guys to visit this one. 